Hey guys, uh, just a quick video about how to get started with our Lanterns Unreal project and use Perforce with it. So go ahead and go to Perforce, open it up, make sure you're going to Fire Artist 1667 and log in and then choose your workspace and it should probably be your last name and then go ahead and go to Depot and I'm going to zoom out here for a sec to show you where. So go to the Lanterns folder, and then under Pre-Production, and then there's a new folder called Game. And under Game, there's a Lanterns, and there's a whole Unreal project here. So get latest revision on the Game folder. And that may take a while, like several minutes, uh, even like 10 minutes maybe, or 15. So once you get it, um, go ahead and navigate to that folder. For me, it's in C Drive Dev. Yours is wherever you keep all of your Perforce stuff. Go to the Lanterns folder, and then go to Pre-Production, and then Game, and then Lanterns, and then underneath that, there's a Lanterns.u project, and that's the Unreal project. And go ahead and open that up. And give it a minute. And now it says Lanterns, and that's kind of cool. Yay. And... So once you have that open, um, in order to make sure Perforce, you always want to be using Perforce when you're in Unreal. Otherwise, your assets might get out of sync with everybody else's assets. So look up here in the top right corner, and there's a green button here with a couple arrows. And so yours might be red, actually, to start with. But make sure that you click on it. And then here, you're going to change this to Perforce and Fire Artist 1667, Rread. Well, you're not going to use our read. You're going to use your name. So C. Sterling or C. Hogston or I. Enriquez. And so go ahead and change those to, our, to your name. And then click on this little arrow here and enter your password here. Um, it's the password you use to get on the 1667 server. So it's usually your PID without the alpha. And then say accept settings. And then whenever you're working, just make sure that this is green. And now, if you go into any assets, for instance, we can go into Blueprints, and we have our character blueprint. And we can right-click it, and down at the bottom, there's Source Control. And if you're working on something, check it out. If you want to see if you have something different from, from it, um, from the depot, you can check there. We can see the history. So the character was me and Alex working on it today. Um, yeah, so pretty much just like Unity and Perforce, you'll check stuff out, you'll, you can sync your whole folder, so that's the same thing as like get latest, you're gonna, get, so once you start using it this way, you're not gonna use Perforce anymore, you're just gonna do Perforce through Unreal. Um, that's about it, as far as stuff in the game project, um, mostly in the maps folder, there's a team sandboxes, and there's a sandbox for each of you. You can mess with that level, change it however you want, and feel free to create other sandboxes if you're create you're testing certain things out. Um, yeah, that's it. So good luck, and uh, text me or call me if you have a problem or or run into perforce issues. All right, good luck.